Okay, so my top 10 is top 10 movie adaptations of books. Um, in which I'm going to do like 10 being the worst and 1 being the best. So, number 10 is A Wrinkle in Time, based off Madeline Lee Ingalls' book and made by Disney. They just completely took the whole plot out of this movie, in my opinion. It's just, mm, no. What made the book good was the meaning behind the story, and they just completely took that out. Ugh. Number 9, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I saw the movie before I knew the show existed, and I was like, yes, great movie. And then I watched the show, and I immediately hated myself for ever liking the movie better. Mm. Eight is Percy Jackson, in which instead of focusing on Percy and what he's going through, they just throw in a romance that doesn't need to be there. Number seven is Aragorn. I'm currently rereading, I don't know why my voice does that, I'm currently reading The Inheritance Cycle because I haven't read Inheritance yet. And I read Aragorn and I went, maybe I should watch this movie again. And then I went, no, I'll hate it. Because I'm really okay with the movie up until the, the battle at the end. And then they just completely throw the storyline out the window. Six. Six. Hannibal from Thomas Harris's book. Silence of the Lambs is really good. Hannibal, they completely changed the ending. Th total 360 from what the book is. I don't know why. It makes no sense. Number five is Coraline. What mainly upsets me about Coraline is the fact they threw in what's-his-face in the movie. I don't even know his name. Just the, the boy that lives next door. Because apparently having Coraline just talk to herself and the cat like she does in Neil Damon's book wasn't cool enough for the movie makers. It just irritates me. Number four is the Narnia series. They just seem to be missing something from the books. And maybe it's because they're trying to remove themselves from the religion, which is weird because you can't really. They just, mm, they're not as good. Number three is Harry Potter, because even though I can complain for days on end about all the things they're missing from it, they did a really good job of making it. I'd still rather read the books over watch of it, but it's good. Number two is The Hunger Games. I was very happy with The Hunger Games movie. I mean, eh, yeah, no Madge, but, and no Greasy Psy, but whatever. I'm okay with that. I just hope Catching Fire is just as good. And number one is Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is one of the only movies I will watch over reading the books. The books take me ages to read, just ages, and the movies go way quicker, and I, there's something about watching a movie where, with the battles and things, that is better than reading the book. I don't know, the movies are great, Howard Shore is the best composer, that's not true, but he's one of the best composers, and I'm just so excited for the Hobbit movie, because the Hobbit, in my opinion, is way better book than Lord of the Rings, so, there we go, my top ten. Sorry, this is kind of rushed. Oh, side note. Tammy. I know you may not see this because your computer sadly died, but I have a sewing machine at my house that I can bring up and we can sew things together that we don't have to buy one. It works perfectly fine. It's kind of old, but it's, it's perfectly fine. So, I can do that. 